Hello dear Scorpio and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here. This is your March general and love reading. Thank you for your patience and your support always. So this is a reading for March of 2021 as we're reading the energies, dear Scorpio. Remember this is for a lot of people out there. So if the, the story speaks to you, please remember that yes, we do pick up on energies, but it's not your own personal story. So take what resonates and leave what does not. With a grain of salt, I'm going to say again, as I always say to many people, even personal readings, we, I mean, personal readings are more specific, but again, it depends on the reader, it depends on the timing, the timing could be off. Nevertheless, dear Scorpio, thank you all your love that you show through liking, sharing and subscribing. So let's have a look at what the energies are like in the month of March. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Venus in Scorpio, Venus in Scorpio, which can be very charming, very possessive. Venus doesn't get enough in Scorpio. And Mars, if you're a Divine Masculine, you can watch your Mars if you're familiar with um, your natal Mars. So we're talking about the birth chart, right? You're obviously familiar with your own birth chart and therefore you know where your Mars is in your own chart. Okay, if you're a Divine Masculine. Now we've all got, of course, both the yin and the yang. But some of us have got more yin, others have got more yang. So if you feel as though you come across more as a masculine energy, then you would check out your Mars, just so you can understand what I'm going on about. Same goes for Venus. More feminine, you check out your feminine, your Venus, your natal Venus. Which sign is it at? That's the sign you should watch. And the North Node, of course, is our fate. Your fate, your own personal fate and your own birth chart. So Scorpio, please, spirit. All right, thank you. So what's the focus in March? Wow. <laughs> wow, Scorpio. Talk about endings. Something you've closed the door on. This cycle has come to an end, obviously. Interesting. What about the past? Eight of Cups. The Magician. And the sun, what about the past leading on to the future? Scorpio, we've got the king of pentacles. We have the hanging man. And we have the nine of cups. Ah, so what I feel here for you, dear Scorpio, obviously you've left a situation, something that could not get off the ground. Maybe you were very hopeful um, to complete those cups. We've got the Eight of Cups, right? Past, present, future, past, present, future. So obviously, way in the past, you've been growing spiritually, you've been looking for those Two of Cups. And with a magician here, because you're walking straight into it, it's as though you've, you know where you're heading. You've, you've been waiting for um, the power to, you know, to have the power within you. Whether it's something that you had to talk your, your way out of or into. And we've got the sun, so the prospects are there. The ability to be able to create two very strong creative cards two very creative energies, beautiful energies. Remember that the sun being Leo, it's all about creating something, but it's also, it speaks of, I go towards, you know, something that would be more fun, something that I perceive as being more fun. I want to create, I want to be happy. 
in my life. So I feel in the distant past, you've been working on something, working on some new beginning. And why do I feel like this new beginning hasn't been able to begin for you until you've actually closed this cycle because you've been going through major transformation, major changes, two tens here, which turn into aces. We've got the magician, which is an ace. Um, and we know that the sun can also signify children. So some of you have sort of been stuck trying to get to what makes you happy to that new beginning, but you've been held back for reasons A, B, or C, depending on who you are in your own personal story. Now, we've got the death card right here, Scorpio, which is your, um, you're in your element. Let's say in the now, you are completing a major cycle. Remember, it turns into the ace, ace of swords. So it's as though you, the tools that you've been given or you've been searching for, you get that indication, but remember that we've got the death card, which is something long-lasting. It takes time. Now, it's interesting, Scorpio, that we've got Leo, we've got Scorpio, we've got King of Pentacles, which for me is Taurus. They're fixed energies, and fixed energies don't help us move forward. It's like change is difficult, and that's why I feel like at this time, it's very important for you, the month of March very important where you're, you know, heading towards a restart, but it's been really heavy for you, really difficult where you've maybe suffered, um, you may have suffered financial loss due to a major transformation happening for you and in your life here. It could be related to work, it could be related to words, conversations, money coming from other sources. We've got the light and the darkness here. Look at that. I mean, the light and the darkness. It's as though you're heading towards the light. Something that seemed quite, um, I don't want to say easy, but there you were on a roll, a bit of a roll. Um, but then you sort of took a couple of steps back here where you had to actually close up that cycle, do a clean up. But I feel that because you are obviously... Scorpio, you are very, you need to go deep, okay, and you are the pinnacle of change and depth. If there's no depth, Scorpio will not be there. And how I see the King of Pentacles being Taurus, it's all about you and your relationships, whether it's your partnerships, whether it's um, relationships with others. Remember that Taurus is right opposite you. It's your partnership house. It's other people versus you. So in your relationships, if something is not of value, something doesn't give you the value, remember that Uranus is also in your relationship house. So you're cleaning your closet out. Relationships that don't work for you. Partnerships in work. Ten of Wands. This is the work card. Remember that also the sun Leo, it's all about what I'm creating, and you do have strong creative abilities. But also, the hanging man, I'm going to say that you will not move forward unless you are certain of something. And you're still, I mean, remember that this is the future column. So we're looking now at the position of the King of Pentacles and looking towards the future. It's as though you've grown spiritually. You've started this from the past. But you're stopping for a moment there just to check. I feel as though you're checking the boxes. Have I done this correctly? Have I done that correctly? Because you're not going to move forward unless you are certain, as I said. And you've got the nine of cups here. So we go from the eight to the nine. So what are you looking for? You're looking for that ten of cups to complete you. To, you know, you're looking for your happiness. Now, some of you may have been going out, self-loving, doing things for you, sort of letting off a little bit of steam, even though, of course, it's not uh, the time of many outings with what's going on in the world. But 
Nine of Cups can also mean, and we've got the Pisces card here, so some of you could be trying to drown out those sorrows or maybe drinking a little bit more than usual. Maybe others of you could be eating more. But the Hanging Man is a major cycle that is closing in your, in your life and you're trying to see things from a different perspective. Whatever you've sacrificed, now it's time to give to you because I feel that some of you have not been appreciated. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. And we've got the Hermit. We've got Virgo here, the energy of Virgo. So the Magician is Gemini and Virgo. We've got Leo. We've got Pisces. Of course, Scorpio, Taurus and Virgo. Now the Hermit is that you're still, I mean, again, you're seeing the light. You're one step before that change of the Wheel of Fortune. Remember what I said. In relationships, Scorpio does not, um, Scorpio needs to be certain it's, they're all in or all out. So I feel that that's where you're at. Whatever's been sort of holding you back on this dream of yours, it's, that's what you're dealing with in the month of March. And I feel that you're looking for the light. You're doing your homework. Remember, Virgo is trying to read between the lines. Again, very spiritual, a very spiritual energy. We've got the Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, which is the family card. Ten of Pentacles is also someone who's feeling abundant. Um, and I feel as though, obviously, it's got to do another, say, another ten, another ten. That's why I'm saying that there's a major chapter that's closing up for you. Whether this is a marriage whether this is a business, a family situation. It's like a brand new chapter, right? The devil, there you go. You have been dealing with something toxic. Someone may be toxic. Let's take more cards. It's interesting that we've had uh, Scorpio, we've had... Um, a full moon, a full moon in Virgo just a, few, a couple of days ago, um, so maybe you've seen something. Remember that full moons are completions. It's also seeing something maybe that was missing, uh, a missing puzzle. Remember that Virgo reads between the lines. This could be you if you've got Virgo in your chart or... You could be either looking into a Virgo or just taking on the Virgo energy. So being very dutiful, doing things one step at a time, because that's the general energy. The focal point is the Ten of Swords. Scorpio, what's going on? So we've got the clouds. There's some news coming through. The sun is trying to break through those clouds. The worry. We've still got the snake here. And the snake, remember, means transformation. It also can speak of a, a nasty, uh, I don't know, jealous enemy. It can also speak of anything that was poisonous in your life is could be now ready to heal. Remember that Pisces can also mean health, okay, medicines. And the hermit can also be an obstetrician, a doctor, a specialist. There's that burden. Jeez, you've been through quite a bit. But I'm going to say also that the cross can mean you're keeping the faith. You're keeping the faith. And it's been a heavy burden, no doubt. Let's take one more on that. And we've got the sun, there we go. So the sun was indicated in the past, but it's connected to the future. So something connected to the past will be shown to you now coming up to the near future. And this is a March reading, but obviously the information is for those of you who watch it maybe in April, maybe you're on that timeline. So let's see what's beneath the deck here. And we've got the magnifying glass, which is very much like the hermit. You're looking closely 
at something. I'm going to say because it's a 44. 44 is an angel number, so this could be spirit showing you something that maybe you've missed. It's as though you're in a retrograde motion, so you're sort of doing work that something you've been preparing, okay? And it's as though it's coming to a... Uh, It's coming to the fore now. So let's, um, I want you to start asking, thinking of questions which I will take the angel answers in a moment. But let's take a message from the spirit of the animals oracle. For Scorpio, please, spirit Scorpio. In the month of March, what does Scorpio need to know? Here we go. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for your guidance. And we've got Snow Leopard, Self-Reliance. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. There's that Virgo word, the perfection. So it looks like you're doing the Virgo thing or you're being guided, maybe. Some of you could be um, seeing a shaman um, being advised by someone who's got the ability. If you feel you are not the one that is the intuitive, um, self-reliant and intuitive you don't have that, let's say, those of you that don't feel, you don't trust that in yourself, you're obviously seeing someone else that could be guiding you, okay? So, interesting. Right, let's take some more cards. So we've got the Knight of Wands here, which, remember, the Ten of Pentacles is some sort of a completion of a cycle. Now, um, some of you could be, of course, you could work. Um, your money could have been made through travel. Remember that the Knight of Wands is the traveler. Um, some of you could also work um, with people that could be from, I don't know, a distance to you. This is the Sagittarius card, which Sagittarius can speak of spirituality, um, higher education, other cultures. It's usually someone who is very creative. Remember that he holds the Ace of Wands. So someone who's got creative skills, but also a lot of passion, the passion to create. Now, it's interesting that you're showing up as the King of Pentacles, which I'm going to say for some of you, I'm wondering if you're dealing with another Earth sign. It's not out of the question here, obviously, but if this is you, the King of Pentacles, you're... You are showing up as a king, therefore you've been through the experience, you've learnt a lot from your life and King of Pentacles is also someone that needs to be sure, right? So they're very slow moving, you're now sort of stopped and looking and maybe even planning, maybe even trying to see things from a different perspective, that's the change could be that you've been going through. Or there's just a blockage, a hold-up. It could also be timing here. Maybe even missed information because you're obviously looking for something. Right? So let's take some more cards and see. Wow. I was going to take in the middle here. And we've got the Five of Wands on top of the Ten of Swords, which could speak of arguments, disagreements. That's why the door is closed here. We go straight from the Five to the Ten. So whatever this argument is about, obviously, and I'm going to say some of you may have, someone may have kept information from you or it could be the other way around. Let's look at that Eight of Cups because that's how the reading opens. Why do we have the Eight of Cups? Yeah, it's because of secrecy. A high Priestess, Virgo Pisces energies. A high Priestess, strong intuition. Your... In the distant past, you know, you know that that little voice within you, most of you, 
know that you're intuitive. You are Scorpio, you're a water sign. Some of you have trusted your intuition. Some of you may have also, um, if this is a journey, a spiritual path that you're on, then this could be your energy as well with a high priestess. And remember, we do talk about shamanism here. Some of you are on a new journey and probably you've been doing the shadow work because I see you're heading towards the light, but then you've sort of started to release. You've been doing the depth, the deeper work, which means you've been scraping the bottom of the battle. Things that have been deep within your subconscious have been coming up to the surface for total clearing. And you're going to see things um, in a very different way, right? You're going to have that indication that you're almost there, that you have done a lot of a lot of the work. For others of you, this is a a spiritual path, not connected to anyone in particular. Um, some of you could be just, if this is you, you're making money out of this. You're you could also be teaching. Those of you that have already progressed and um, you've gotten into teaching, teaching the anything relation to mysticism, okay, the occult. Let's have a look at the magician. <laughs> and we've got the Ten of Pentacles, beautiful card. Let's take the sun. There's the devil showing up again, and that's when the darkness began because the reading goes like this, right? So with the devil here, this could also say, you know, the sun has been showing you that there is light at the end of the darkness, I feel, here. Now, if you've been connected to someone who had a very strong ego, we've got two cards of leadership here. For those of you that have been connected to a partnership where... Um, there's just been too much competition and an imbalance, obviously. You've been sort of, you know, you understand that you've got a lot of work to do in this at this point. And that's why we've got the death card after the devil. Again, again, the devil can say, of course, any vices, any... Fears that have been connected to whatever you're trying to create. Let's take the next step. We've got the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords here. Wow. It's interesting, uh, Scorpio, to see that the Devil, because the Devil is, it's quite dark, right? It's, it's very much about things being real, feeling as though you're restricted. Here we've got the death card and you've got the ace of swords which helps you. Obviously it can speak of clarity, communication that goes depth into depth, um, maybe even openness where sexual limitations or um, Sexual vices are concerned, sexual fears I'm going to say as well, with the Knight of Cups here. I don't know why, dear Scorpio, but I feel as though you've been dealing with someone that um, was quite secretive about any matters that were taboo um, have come up, obviously. The sun shows us things, okay, and the magician which can also be a trickster. Some of you could be discovering that your partner um, has done something that was not of integrity. Remember that the devil um, is very limiting. It's like a difficult chapter that you may have needed to look into. And I'm going to say that the sun and the magician beneath that are bringing things up for you, for you to see them, whether it's your own issues your subconscious issues or a partner that you're dealing with and that's probably why we've got the five of wands it's a very shaky in the now your focus is right here 
um, in the middle of March, let's say that something just doesn't add up, it doesn't work, and it's too much, it's too much to even try here. So it's as though you're putting a full stop. I feel that there is a full stop that Scorpio is putting here. No more of this. Okay, and the Knight of Cups, remember, is someone that is quite shaky. Knight of Cups can also speak of um, someone, someone that fears, fears being open. Remember that the Knight of Cups, he wears a suit of armor. He's not certain about moving forward. Let's see what's going on here. Wow. So it was a difficult choice for you, dear Scorpio. For you or the other person, you can flip the reading around. Difficult choice, but we've got the full card here, which is Aries. Let's. I want to have a look at the uh, Hermit before I see anything else more. What are you finding? So we've got the Queen of Swords here. Wow. The Judgment card, which is Pluto. It's your ruling planet. Queen of Swords can be anything legal or any truth that's coming up. Remember what I spoke about with that Ace of Swords. Queen of Swords is someone usually that is letting go or that's been through the trouble She's been through the issues, she's grown and therefore she doesn't, she looks at the details, she's more about, you know, looking at everything closely. Now, of course, Queen of Swords could be Libra, could be a Virgo. Where Earth is concerned, we've got all the Earth signs here. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Please do not focus on those signs, that's what I don't see that... I don't see that that's more important than the actual story. So let's have a look at the King of Pentacles. Because I feel here, with a judgment, judgment is like there's been no happiness here. And you want to have that restart. You want, But to have that restart, remember that stop button. Whatever has been challenging for you. And I feel that the information that will be seen, the truth will that will come through, the awareness that will come through will give you that help. It's spirit. It's Archangel Michael giving you that information so that you know where you go from here on out. Now, we've got the Five of Pentacles here, right on that King of Pentacles. So feeling left out in the cold, maybe even financially, having had some setbacks. Remember, we've got the Ten of Pentacles here, and then we go to the Five. So... No love, no financial um, security here, emotional security. With the King of Pentacles, though, he holds that Sixth Pentacle, which, remember, Six Pentacles is more about someone ready to give generously, whether it's to uh, close up a, a cycle, a door, a legal matter, or just giving from their heart, right? Giving... Um, Providing a security, a financial security for another person would mean that they're in your heart because when we give financially, it means that we're invested emotionally as well, right? So let's see why we've got the hanging man. We've got the king of cups, king of pentacles, king of cups. And this is you, obviously, or you're dealing with a Pisces. Let's have a look at that Nine of Cups because King of Cups holds the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups is right here. And we've got the Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles says to me that it is the Capricorn energy. This is like you sort of uh, making sure, dear Scorpio, because you've been waiting for this for a while. Remember that Seven of Pentacles, for me, it's... It's the Capricorn energy. It's like wanting to secure something, making sure that the work has been done so that you can get to that investment. And this can be an investment. We remember, we go from the 10, but then comes the challenge here. 
then we start at the 5, 6 and 7. It's as though there is a transition. Financially, you're getting there a step at a time. So, interesting with that Seven of Pentacles, this could uh, be speaking of the amount of time that someone's been waiting or the time that they've invested. This could be, some of you, seven months. For others of you, it could be seven years that you've been waiting for this. And seven is very Saturnian. It's a quarter of a uh, Saturnian cycle, roughly. That seven is also spirit. What's at the bottom of the deck? And we have the Wheel of Fortune. There it is. Just like with the Hermit, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, the Wheel of Fate turns. It is time. I just want to take one more card, please, Spirit. One card at this Seven of Pentacles. And we've got the Five of Cups. So Five of Cups, remember, do, do not focus on those three cups that are spilt there are regrets here, maybe for lost time as well, because we've got quite a few cups. Maybe, as I said, someone could have a drinking problem, right? Those two cups are right behind you. It's all about changing the way you've been seeing things and maybe even close, a closer look at details will give you the answers you're looking for, De Scorpio. Okay, so this is like letting go of that past. Starting to live because Spirit is giving you the situation here where it's saying it's time now to resurrect. You've done the work. Now it's time to start living again. Let's take your questions. So I hope that you've been thinking of your questions. Let's see what Spirit has. For Scorpio, please. Scorpio, please, Spirit. Now, of course, some of you may have a choice between two people, two romantic partners. Dear Scorpio, we've got a water sign here and we've got an earth sign. We've also got... Uh, I'm going to say an air sign could be because the Queen of Swords, she's usually my Libra card, but we've got two kings and a queen, so I have to uh, put those out there. Queen of Swords would likely be the X, just so you know. So for Scorpio, what are the answers, please, Spirit? What is your guidance for Scorpio? What do they need to know? Weight. Improving health. Ooh, okay, cool. And peaceful resolution. I can't even say it. Peaceful resolution. Peaceful resolution. Health is improving. That could also be your, it could be your physical health, but also your emotional health. Let's take a couple more cards. No need to worry. And let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. In the near future. Lovely. Lovely for Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. That was beautiful. Beautiful to know. For those of you that have had, well, obviously, even with Pisces, it could be physical health, but also um, emotional, right? So you've gone through a lot of stress here, and it's probably uh, dragged you back with a devil card here, obviously very challenging. But in the near future, remember that you've got the possibility of this Nine of Cups, King of Cups holds that Ace of Cups. It is self-love as well. So if you are not in a, um, a romantic connection, dear Scorpio, this could be you giving self-love to yourself. We know that a lot has happened in the world. So we're all, all, 
we're all on a personal journey and it can be many different um, happenings that are happening for each of us in our own lives. But we've got the sun here. You've got the sun twice, which the sun brings healing, remember. It brings healing after, you know, that devil, that darkness here. Those three cards now that you're going through. I'm going to say that if a cycle is ending for you, um, you need to know that you need to leave it. If the cycle has ended, do not stay and, you know, be stagnant. It's time to move on. It's time to push forward because there are new beginnings here. New beginnings that you need to take that chance, jump off that ledge and know that spirit is protecting you. Okay, of course it says do your homework, just try and, you know, dot your I's, cross your T's, but after that you need to believe in spirit, that spirit is spirit has got your back and the sun comes through here, all right? It says no need to worry, so what else can I say? And remember, please, that tarot is for entertainment purposes do not base your life decisions off a tarot reading let's take one more peek here and we've got the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles here king and queen of pentacles interesting this is usually capricorn or virgo for me now the queen of swords usually libra could be talking about virgo libra cusper of course, Queen of Pentacles could also show up as the Queen of Swords if this is someone that you are, um, someone that you've been dealing with and someone that could be quite discriminative at this point. Because Queen of Swords, as I said, she does the math. Right, all right. I think I will leave it there. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I will be taking um, this reading um, to the extended, okay, for more messages for those of you that are interested. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much for all that you do, dear Scorpio. I am wishing you well. Uh, major changes around the corner. Good luck with everything. Talk to you soon. Blessings and much healing to all of you.